Being mindful of our speech boils down to this, less is more. If you need to say something that may be painful to hear, distill the message down to the essential parts and omit the rest. The extra words will likely be negative emotion inducers, otherwise known as onus devarim. Put in the words of our Talmudic sages, one who adds subtracts. Let's say a parent needs to tell their teenager that they can't borrow the family car and then leave it full of trash. If this takes more than two sentences, then the adolescent brain hears lecture and completely tunes out. But this kind of attitude is not exclusive to teenagers. No one likes to feel lectured. If you feel like your conversation is becoming tense, bitter, or argumentative, take a time out, walk away, or ask for a break. The extra time will allow some of the emotions to subside and both of you can gain a little perspective. Thinking about what the other person is saying and feeling can be very helpful to regaining empathy. In the heat of the moment, we often say things we wouldn't say with a clearer head. Calling a truce really helps. Another idea is to write down what you want to say. Sometimes writing it down, writing it all down helps to express your point with the right words. After you write it out, you can look back and read it to yourself as if you were the listener. Is this the way you would want someone to talk to you? Are there any words or points you should remove or soften? Here's the thing. If you're not sure whether or not your words will cause pain, just don't say them. Try this at home. Today, practice pausing before responding to a challenging conversation. My name is Wendy Margolin and I'm keeping it clean.